Hey, it's Chris again. Today's video is the neutral safety switch in the 1855, which is pretty similar in most of the Olivers and some of the whites until they went to clutch switches. You might ask yourself, why did they do a neutral safety switch? Well, on industrial tractors with reverse torque, there was no clutch, so they couldn't go off from that. And um, they did have a clutch neutral or clutch safety switch on 770s, 880s for a while there. But this kind of uh, solved both problems. Didn't matter which transmission or setup it was. And all it does is when you turn the key, the juice that goes to the solenoid at the starter goes through this switch. So I think some of them um, go in, some go out, but the idea is, is when it's in neutral, which is right there, when it pushes the roller on the micro switch back, that connects the juice to the starter. And boom, she goes, pretty simple. So let's, uh, I'm gonna replace it either way, but let's do a continuity check on this one because I bet it's probably not any good. Let's see, put this in the noisy mode. Nothing. Make sure. Yep. Ah, years and years of them being in that oil and stuff. They they get to where they don't work anymore. But and Agco still offers them. But they're a little salty on them, and they're a basic micro switch other than. The roller is turned 90 degrees. Most of them, the roller rolls this way, whereas this rolls sideways. And uh, let's see, a little searching on the, the old eBay. And you got a Z156W49-B. I found, I don't know, someone had a lot of 10 for a little of nothing. So I bought them all. The biggest thing is this is a uh, three pole and the original is only two, which makes it you know a little more foolproof. But on this, uh, commons on the bottom and normally open is here, normally closed. So let's see, we want normally open and then it closes. So I think we want these two contacts. Let's get the old one off. And they usually go through this rubber piece to help seal it. Usually it's usable. If not, I suppose you can squeeze some silicone around it or something. I'm not sure if that little rubber piece is still available. Come on, most of you guys are farmers, so you can improvise. Yeah, these micro switches are usually relatively cheap, but having one with a roller turn 90 degrees kind of seems to be a little bit harder to find. Sounds like it needs to be a little bit closer. I'm liking that. Let's tighten her down. I'm just listening to the clicks. Want to make sure it turns on. Let's bring this back. Should be these two. Yep. Oop. Might move it just a hair closer. You don't want to tighten these two down and break down too tight and break the case. A lot of guys just twist the two wires together. I am not recommending that. I like to have stuff working, especially space safety stuff. Okay, that might be a little too close. I got the holding the bracket closest to the switches I can get it. That's a little too much pressure. Wanting to stay on a little bit. The only time juice goes through this is when you're turning the key to crank it over. 
and it doesn't matter which one it just completes the circuit so either wire You can now get these that are already made with the shrink wrap. Oops, probably shouldn't catch it on fire. Seal it up and keep the whatnot out better. I cut the end off the original wires and it seemed to be the connection at the uh, terminal that was bad but it's gonna go ahead and replace the whole wire and um, I went with red because in the wiring harness the ones that connect to the uh, neutral safety switch are pink so be pretty close I probably had some black wire somewhere but here we are Oh, can I tell which way was which? Not really. Does it matter? Not really. All right, let's try this again. I haven't put ends on the outside ends. I know they're blade. I can't remember if it's male or female to look at the harness. You'll want to make sure your wire is rated for oil so the insulation doesn't like dissolve. All right, solve that problem. Just got to clean up the gasket area. Put some spades on there. I guess I'll figure out what's going on there. Well, this is the one I did have in there. And I don't know if it cracked her and transported. I did something to it, but part of it broke off. I was making it not always contact good. But I had another one. Got it swapped out. And it makes much better noises with the multimeter on the continuity check. So I guess it's a good thing I decided to look into that. Maybe it was already missing earlier and I didn't notice it. And you'll notice it in the video or I'll notice it when I'm editing. But she should be good. Just got to clean up this gasket area. So I've just taken some electrical thing and made it look overly complicated. But you know how to fix it now safety first. I appreciate everybody watching and we will see you in the next one.